off topic, Mayor, if, if we could. Um, first of all, I wanted to uh, raise this issue of the endorsement you got um, two days ago from Indigo Magazine uh, that your campaign team was, was touting uh, just as of today, I believe. Several other candidates are um, raising issue with this and saying this whole idea of keep the seat, Lightfoot's the only black candidate who can win. If you don't vote for her, we're splitting the vote. Uh, they're calling it divisive. Uh, and by your touting it, uh, Willie Wilson today even saying you're playing the race card by putting this out there. Can you respond? Well, I am the only candidate that can, that can win. That's a fact. So the, the fact that a, a media outlet has recognized that um, and put it in writing um, is something, frankly, that people are saying all over the city, not surprisingly, um, in uh, majority black uh, neighborhoods across the city. It, it happens to be a fact. And look, here's the thing. Willie Wilson is all excited about this, and he's calling upon all of us to, to condemn um, someone who's exercised their First Amendment rights. What all of us should be doing is condemning Willie Wilson who has doubled, tripled, quadrupled down on this notion that what we need to be doing in the city is taking the handcuffs off of our police and urging them to act like vigilantes, a mob, and go hunt down um, what will always be black and brown boys and hunt them down <coughs> like rabbits. As far as I'm aware, I'm the only uh, candidate, aside from Jamal Green, that has condemned that horrific language. His language and his sentiment that he has now put on, I think, ads, he's repeated um, all over, to me, that's disqualifying. That's the thing that we should be united in condemning. And I encourage our, my fellow candidates to do just that. We, he has no moral ground to stand on when that is a thing that is coming out of his mouth over and over and over again. I certainly appreciate that he um, has um, pain and trauma from losing his son. But as somebody who aspires to sit in this seat, you can't be the person who says that our police officers should be free to engage in extrajudicial killings, which is what he is talking about. So when people live in glass houses, they shouldn't throw stones. And Willie Wilson needs to take that back. He needs to apologize and raise the tenor of his content um, in his comments um, in these last 12 days of the mayoral campaign.